<laughs> well, here I am, Larry, all ready to sing. Will uh, George have much to sing, Mr. Tippett? Oh, yes, he sings every other number. Gee. Now, here's the program. First, uh, you sing the aria, O to Cain, Seno Agli Angeli, from La Forza del Destino by Giuseppe Verdi. Uh, that's my first number. Yeah, that's, that's right. I'm afraid I don't know that one. Well, uh, well, I'll sing that one for you. Oh. Now, uh, now your next number is a stirring thing. Viva il vino spumeggiante. From Cavalleria Rusticana by Pietro Mascagni. That's my second number. Yes. And this, of course, you do very fortissimo. Viva voce, etc., etc., etc. Oh, well, that's the only way George would do it. I'm afraid I don't know that one either. Then I'll sing that one for you, too. Now, uh, now comes our duet. Oh, now we do something together. Yes, yes, we'll do two numbers. Uh, Say il mio nome and Ecco Ridenti in Cielo from Il Barbieri di Sevilla by Giacchino Antonio Rossini. You don't happen to know Struck Miss Lizzie. <laughs> or, or Tata Tootsie Goodbye? <laughs> no. Strutter's ball? No. No. Well, Mr. Tibbet, if the whole program is going to be those classical songs, George won't get to sing at all. <laughs> uh, too bad, but I tried. <laughs> you know, I went through the program, but I just couldn't work anything out. Well, I thought you worked George out very well. <laughs> well, Larry, while you're out there singing, couldn't you just ask the folks to vote for me? My dear fellow, uh, George Burns, running for councilman, could hardly fit with Carmen and Faust and Rigoletto. Oh, I guess it couldn't. Or could it? I I beg your pardon? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just an idea. Uh, uh, You go on the stage, Mr. Tibbet, and and I'll bring your music out to you. Uh, But why you? Well, um... Um, I'd like to look it over so I'll know what to say when I introduce your numbers. But I thought the narrator was uh, Bill Goodwin. Well, I'm taking his place. Oh, I see. Well, well, hurry now. The concert begins in just a few minutes. Yes. Good evening, music lovers. Welcome to Hollywood Bowl. It is my pleasure to present Mr. Lawrence Tibbet, who will sing the famous Toreador song from the opera Carmen. Oh, you better read off this music, Mr. Tibbet. It's a special arrangement. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lawrence Tibbet. <laughs> The man for second assistant substitute city councilman from the... Hey, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop that music. Stop it, stop it. Uh, Mrs. Burns, I, I can't sing this. Oh, what's the matter, wrong key? Uh, Mr. Tibbet, I'm, I'm sorry I let Gracie narrate for me and cause all this confusion. Here's another arrangement. Sing this one. Well, this doesn't have anything about George Burns in it, does it? Oh, no, sir, not a word. All right. Let's take it again, Mr. Mills. Wash with swan soap, that's what it's for. Hey, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, stop. All right. Mr. Tibbet, what's the matter? Well, what is this swan soap? <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Tibbet, that's the new white floating soap that's four soaps in one. The soap for your hands and face, bathing the baby, or for dishes and light laundry. 
four swell soaps in one, a great wartime buy. But the Hollywood Bowl's no place for swan soap. Oh, swan's great in a bowl. <laughs> or a pan, and it's especially wonderful in a tub if you're bathing a baby. You see, swan's pure as fine castile. And swan is so mild and gentle, it's just perfect for a baby's tender skin. And naturally, if it's a soap for baby, well, swan must be just right for your hands and face, your tub or shower. Uh, Mr. Mills... You play that selection from Rigoletto, and this time I'll sing from memory, and no more special arrangements. Bella figlia dell'amore. Swan breaks in two. Stop that music! Stop that music! Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a slight delay in the quartet from Rigoletto while I take care of the trio from the third district. such a mess tonight. Fine thing. I'll never be elected now. Getting thrown out of Hollywood Bowl in front of 50,000 people. I'm sorry. Wind up tomorrow with two votes. That's all I'll get. Your vote and my vote. Uh, just your vote, dear. I'm voting for Gordon Tate. <laughs> what? Well, as long as you haven't got a chance anyway, and he has got a lot of sex appeal. Good night, dear. Good night. Oh. 